Why did you decide to do this? Well, for a lot of reasons. In our conversation before we go on the camera, you spoke about um, people being comfortable. We think that as black people, we've gotten a little bit too comfortable. We've, we've forgotten what it took to get us to the point we are today and how much work we have still left to do. And these pictures are a reminder of what our people went through. A lot of people think we put it up here to teach hate. No, we don't put it up there to teach hate. We put it up there to teach our people their history to point out how important we are to one another. Because a lot of these brothers met this fate when they were isolated by themselves, all right? Um, and it, it's a reminder as to how important we are to one another, how important the black man is to each other, how important the black man is to the black woman, and how important the black woman is to the black man. Because one of the reasons that this was done to us was to instill fear in the black man and to let the black woman know that your man can't protect you. Right? And all it did was perpetuate white supremacy. And actually, while you talk, is it, is it okay? I'm going to show just a couple of Absolutely. images. Absolutely. Absolutely. And you can just tell us a little bit about them. Like, what's this one about right here? I'm going to see if I can back up on uh, the camera. Okay. Well, this was... A lot of our people met mob justice. Okay? A lot of our people in this situation here, they met mob justice. There was no judge and jury. These people... A lot of these brothers met this fate for either a confrontation with a white woman or a misunderstanding with a Caucasian. You looked him in the eye. You didn't step off the sidewalk when he walked by. A lot of people think these pictures are from slavery, but they're not. They're from, like, early 1900s. Then a lot of people think that this is all in the past, but I can draw you several parallels to where this is going on today. Abner Louima, um, Patrick Garrisman, Central Park uh, jogger case, where they railroaded these kids um, and put them in jail for the majority of their lives. Um, just recently, Sean Bell. These are all public lynchings. Jail James Bird. These are all public lynchings that have, have direct parallels to what went on here in these pictures. Okay. Why did you decide to do this? You could have done something else. You could because have... our people are walking around here dumb, deaf, and blind. You understand what I'm saying? A lot of these, like I said, the Negro has gotten too comfortable. We got to get our people out of the Negro mentality. You understand? The Negro is a creation of the slave master. He took the African over here and then he converted him into a Negro. You understand what I'm saying? He shaved off any knowledge of his past, of his history, and all he knows is what he acquired here in this country. He doesn't realize that he has a long, strong history. So, you know, these black people, they walk by, they've gotten too comfortable, and it's amazing how many of them act like they've never seen anything like this before, act like they don't know nothing about this. So, like, what, Grown what? people stand here and look at this in amazement. People older than me walk by here and look at this in amazement like they've never seen it and, and can't explain it. Now, are these images for sale, or is it just for people to... That like well, we, 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 don't, we sell them on, you have to order them, okay. all right? We don't like have them readily available for sale because that's not what it's really about. You know, we display them, but some people who want the images, you know, you come by, you give us a deposit, and we'll make up the pictures, whichever ones you want. We'll make them up and have them available for you. Okay, and by doing this, uh, do you think the people of the community are learning and catching on? Are they going to do something to make a difference after, after seeing this? I'm going to tell you, the, the programming in the Negro, see, we make a distinction over here between a Negro and a black person. All right? A black person has a knowledge of self, has a knowledge of their history. The Negro, like I said, is a creation of the slave master to be used as a tool for him and a weapon against each other. So we make that distinction. And the Negro that walks up and down this street here, 95% of them just, I, hate, I really hate to say it, but they're just dumb, deaf, and blind. And we're here trying to create a such sense of urgency where we need to come together economically, politically, and culturally so that we can have 
some stake in our future, have some control, some self-determination over our own future in the years to come.